Hey, I'm Susan Berkeley for GreatVoice.com, and today on the Inside VoiceOver e-newsletter, we're going to talk about networking to grow your voiceover business. Now, have you ever gone to a networking event? You're standing around. You have no idea what to say to people, and when you finally do meet somebody, you kind of start talking about yourself, and then they're looking at their watch, and they're getting really, really bored, and you know you blew it. Well, I'm here to help this week. I've got some great tips for you, so pay careful attention. There's four things you want to do when you meet somebody at a networking event, four key questions you want to ask. And the first question is, how did you get started in your business? People love to answer that question. Second question is, what do you like best about what you do? Third question is, what are you most passionate about these days? I love that question, so open-ended and really turns the lights on in someone's eyes. And the last question is, what are your biggest challenges right now? Now as they talk, you draw them out, you listen attentively, you make careful notes on the back of their business card, and then at the end you tie it all in by saying your elevator speech, which is something like, you know, I'm a professional voiceover artist and one of the things I, I like best about what I do is working with creative media professionals like yourselves. It's a great phrase, don't forget it. And helping make their vision come alive. Now I have a fully equipped home studio. I offer fast turnaround and reasonable rates. How can I help you? Isn't that great? And that gets them thinking about how the two of you might work together. One more thing, before you end your little networking time with the person, you ask for a referral. Uh, so when you're done, you say, and by the way, is there anyone else that you know that might use my services? And that's all there is to it. What a great way to grow your business. I hope you try it out. I'm Susan Berkeley, and I'll be back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.